Boom, what up? Solo Renekton only. Today I'm gonna show you how to do the E-Trade level one against a Tron. <laughs> Most people won't even get that. It's an old meme, but it checks out. All right. Playing some Crocodile. I actually have a really bad time with this matchup. I don't even know if it's this matchup. I just think I have a really hard time playing against Aatrox, period. It's like some weird mental block I have. I don't know why. Maybe a little carefully as dash up. Cool. Now we have our dash. We can look for... A, well, I think I want to wait for him to auto attack. Use that empowered hit. See how the blade's facing forward like that? It means this passive's available. This next auto attack's going to be empowered. Do more damage. Also heal him for quite a bit. There it is. Uh, I'm good taking a free trade like that. I could keep it going, but I'm gonna get like chunked out and the wave will kind of change a little bit. Whereas I can just wait for my level three and wait for the 10 seconds for my E to be back up. Well, five seconds now. And then look for a play with that. That's actually so unfortunate. I think I could have just killed him. Dang. Well, the scrying orb made it hard, I mean. See right there, your W counts as three auto attacks. That's why you can one shot wards. If it's empowered. Regular is two. But yeah, I think he would have stayed far up. But it's all good. 22 to 9. We saw the jungler top side. Auto first. Beautiful. I'm gonna shove, look for the dive pop potion. Maybe I should have held that. There's no way you can stand her tower, bud. Like I said, there's no way. Just being greedy, but honestly, I'd probably end up doing the same thing that he did. I would make the Renekton kill me. It's so hard to back right there. I mean, it's definitely the correct choice because I can obviously kill him, but I just think most people are not going to back there. I honestly wouldn't back there either. If he has teleport, you can definitely back. Back TP, it's not a big deal. You know, you're missing out on eight seconds to back, four seconds of TP back, maybe a couple seconds in pool to wait, you know? It's not really a big deal. All right. spicy but when you got ignite and there's like your third or those uh it's like a triple stack wave crashing out your tower you know you shoved into your opponent you bounced the wave that's essentially what he did he shoved into me bounced the wave he didn't necessarily bounce it i went in dash queued and did a trade that started the wave to push back but the same thing as him just shoving it into tower same concept so shove the wave wave bounces back you wait under tower the problem is he took like a really bad trade here and got super chunked out before and then he's really vulnerable as the wave crashes when you have a giant wave coming towards you like me right now i'm ahead of him so it doesn't really, really matter but if i'm like behind and we're even behind or even you're basically behind if you were even you're basically behind because of the wave state like they're gonna have an exp advantage over you this early in the game you know one level equals like 500 gold worth of stats so you're generally going to do what I'm doing right here, where you let the wave crash under tower, and then you get it safely without dying. And then after you correct the wave, which means like, you know, the wave resets, comes back out into the middle, it's kind of normal again. Now you can start to do stuff. Now you don't have like three minions and like a billion gold. Him dashing forward literally got him killed. Yeah. For sure don't dash forward like that. He was trying to hit that combo, but he missed the Q, and then he dashed forward and it got him killed. Sorry if I'm not as clean as I probably should be. <laughs> I was just like walking with him for a little bit. I was like, ah, oh, let me make sure I dodge his next combo. And then I wanted to empower W when he was hitting me with his uh, third one. That way he didn't get a chance to get away. Because we'd just be trading CC. I'm hit by his knockup, but he's hit by my stun and he's stuck. But yeah, I'm playing some Wrath of the Lich King. The WoW Classic. My fingers want to go to WASD right now. Uh, he's dumping all of his abilities, so I should be able to clear this wave. Auto first. W. Auto E. Beautiful. Now he has his abilities up, so we have to be a little careful here. 
I just need to get the wave under tower. He's dash is forward, brother. Careful. I mean, come on. Dash in twice. 900 range here. I can get him. Can I wave? I mean, I'm gonna stay and clear this wave. I'm just gonna let a minion die. See if what he does. There's a chance that he actually left, though. It wouldn't be that dumb because he's super chunked and the wave is resetting. Okay. I mean, part of me wants to stay so bad and try and farm out 600 gold, but it's really dumb. It would be really dumb. Especially since I didn't even place that pink ward that I bought last time. Not the brightest. Not the brightest. But yeah, next patch, they're actually nerfing Renekton. It's like, uh, for worlds i guess i guess he gets picked too much. i don't watch competitive play i guess he gets picked too much in competitive play or something so they're nerfing his q they're taking away 25 base damage but they're adding at max rank but they're adding 20 percent ad ratio basically what it boils down to is your q is going to do less damage until you have uh three ad items which means like you know gore drinker you know, one of the AD type mythics, Gore Drinker, you know, Divine, whatever, Prowlers, like any of the AD typical mythics that you already go on Renekton, and then like Maw, Death Dance, that type of stuff. If you get like three of those type of items. I need to wait till I have empowered. I had to make sure I just kept autoing there until I had the empowered W, or I wouldn't win that. We need the more damage out of the W and the longer stun duration. But yeah, so basically until you have three items, so 120 bonus AD. Once you have over 120, 125 rather, 125 bonus AD, that's when your Q will do more damage compared to what it currently does. This is next patch. So basically it's a nerf until you have three AD items, which is, you know, what, 20, 30 minutes in the game, whatever. 25 minutes or something. They stole it with Ezreal. Damn. Should be good though. A lot of times teams overcommit to go for a steal and end up getting wiped. Ooh. Not this time though. I will take this. Dash over this wall. Auto W. Auto Q. Auto Dash. That's how you play this champ, by the way. Auto ability. Auto ability. Pretty straightforward. Those extra autos help you build that fury too, which allows for more empowered abilities. More empowered abilities means more damages. I'm fairly certain I kill you in a W. I do not kill him in a W. That did no damage. Oh no. I'm actually dead here. Oh. Am I though? I am. There's actually a chance I could have finished that if I played it a little bit better at the end there. I could have dash dash queued and then W'd. I, was, I tried to dash dash auto for the fury and then W. Because I needed the auto before W for empowered. I mean, I'm just being super greedy and dumb. I thought I could one-shot him because he eat forward like a goofball, but it my W did no damage. Which was a little underwhelming. <laughs> if that was Aatrox, I would have killed him with Tabby. I don't understand how I did like nothing to the other guy. He didn't... I just looked immediately and I was like, oh, he must have... Uh... Let's do the BT. He must have bone plating or something. But he didn't. His bone plating, if you like flash W into bone plating, your W does nothing. Because each one of the bone plating uh, hits consumes one of your W parts. So your W gets reduced by like a, a ridiculous amount of damage. Essentially the full bone plating eats your W. So whatever the bone plating max is. Which is generally like a couple hundred damage. It's like what? 60 per? 30 per? 30 to 60 per hit? So you do three hits, each one get consumed. You get like 180 damage off of your uh, 
Ooh, w. Yeah, it's a really dumb death to have. I blew a summoner to go in. Just being greedy. Typical. Typical SRO. Cocky. Greedy. I love the crit animation. The over the head chop. It's my favorite. So every third hit is going to be that uh, true damage proc. Remember our W counts as three hits by itself. So our empowered W is going to proc one of these Kraken procs by itself. It's 100 true damage. Quite a bit. We're going to wait for him to Q. I don't think it's going to work. No. You can't actually tank towers here. If I was able to get the lifesteal component, maybe it'd be a little bit of a better position. I'm trying to get away without using Q, but I think I just use it here. It's probably a good idea. Ooh, if I walk away, kite the camps. Q. Love it. So I can sit right here. As these minions cross, I can dash in and hope he's walking with them. Because he probably checks this. No. But now I want to dash away. Because I don't have any vision of this area. So it's no longer safe, even though I'm stronger than him. Cool. Alright, as I see more people on the map, I'm a little bit more secure about my position. I know where everybody is now. So now I'm not worried about anything. Shove the wave in. He doesn't have his red buff. I rotate here. Alright, cleared all the camps. Well, they're timers. So now I'll be able to see if they respawn. Just trying to catch the Yasuo, or not, not Yasuo. The Aatrox doing something weird. Like rotating over here or something. It is hard to dive under tower and kill him. Can't really 100 to 0. <laughs> People always forget your second dash. Should probably move down for dragon. Voice crack, I'm 11. Just trying to abuse fog of war. I mean, look where Azrael is. He's probably getting back ping though. If I had a ward, I'd be placing it right here. Here and here. Best wards. I mean, I'm behind him, but... If he just gets ulted by... I was gonna say, if he just gets ulted by Mord, Mord doesn't have ult though, so... But yeah. Mord ult and then he can't get away. I mean, dude, that... We're definitely moving here to secure this. Our jungle does have... Oh, no, he doesn't. We're good. Obviously. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> you know they're gonna go in. Oh, what? Uh, it's a little scary. I mean, I didn't know I was going to crit. If I knew I was going to crit, Ooh. I could have saved the uh, Ignite. They have vision somewhere over here. Ooh. I should shove out mid. Reset. Oh, top side red. This whole red side's up. Uh, Ezreal's over here on this right side. Cool, shove it, put pressure on that wave. I have a million gold, which is not ideal for what I'm about to do, but I think it's a timing thing. I mean, that's good, but Ezreal's gonna answer me. Oh, he's not. I don't think I do two at once, plus Ezreal's moving now. And I have 25 billion gold. Okay. I mean, oh, my bad. Oh, no, you're good. It only works if he tries to fight us. Yeah. My bad. My bad, my bad. Okay. 
I'll get IE next. I do need some boot action on. Zooming! Could go CDR boots here. CDR boots are probably probably better. I do want some speed though. Yeah. Honestly, both are fine. CDR boots are really good because they're an uh, AD caster. Very similar to Riven, so attack damage plus CDR is insanely valuable on him. Attack damage, CDR, and uh, pen. Those are the three best stats. So obviously I built crit and lifesteal. So <laughs> that was so fun. That was so fun. We're gonna get our W up to a giant hit though. Our W crits plus has the uh, the proc here, and then we get the IE bonus damage. Could be large. That shield's cool. Oh, that's gonna troll me so hard. Dang. Oh, this is actually really bad. Yeah. It, it's crowd control. That's really what does it. Crowd control wins the day. This guy's by himself. Because they put two mid, two top, one bot. Should be a shove and dive. Oh wow, we're losing mid. Hmm. They got the diving bot. Uh, okay. Bruh. He's not die. Well, that's just not very nice. Problem is, if I move top, they're gonna get this dragon. This guy's gonna leave from top. Oh, he's dead. Because he has wards here on me. Wards rotating for him. I mean, Ward probably wins that still. But Drake's up in a second here. I think we should have walked up there. No, no, no! There you go. And then, oh my god. There you go. All you gotta do is start it, because then you're gonna get these guys funneling in. Ezreal's over here. Oh, I like it, turning on the guy. Pretty good. Oh, smart. Ezreal rotated all the way back. Oh, definitely leaving. The slower the better. I mean, I could flash over the wall. I just... Oh boy. Right. Like, you need to stop because you don't have smite. So. I mean, this was like the most brain dead fight I've ever seen. Part of it is okay, but the rest of it was fucking horrible. I didn't crit. I'm gonna die to next hit. Oh, I crit that time though. Hey, we did it in the end. Yeah, that fight was really bad. Whew. Part of it was good. The first part where MF and Hecram started hitting it, which entices them, because we swept. So they don't know where we are. That's the key. They don't know where me and Leona are. So use the other two to bait. It looks like two people doing it against, what, they had three people in the area? Four people in the area? It looks like a horrible play for us. 
So that's what entices Timo to like run in quickly. That's what entices Ezreal to move in quickly. Ezreal was much smarter about it though. The dude literally ran all the way around. But then the Hecarim chase with Mord still doing it was bad. That's when it got bad. Hecarim kind of chased a little bit too far. Had the right idea. Like we need Hecarim there to smite it. We, or we need Warwick dead. Warwick is alive and then Hecarim wasn't near it. So like we can't be doing the dragon. Oh, I love how it's not listed. What? You don't know Infinity Edge is Renekton's best item? Unbelievable, right? Ooh, damn, I can buy all the components. What the hell are you doing there, buddy? It's playing the old Warwick away from Jack. Yeah, that's true. That's something we could have done. Twas a play. Yeah, he did ult Warwick at the end here anyways. That is true. If you ult Warwick, uh, the dragon disappears and they can't smite it. Careful. See, I don't know if I want to place that wood. I feel like I need to get one up here. I see enough people that I can stay aggressive. I should dead. Uh, he literally missed that. I'm definitely not going to survive that last bit. <laughs> uh, and they got Teemo. We have four against two, but it's really hard to do an objective against uh, an AP Ezreal. They'll just be able to dish out a lot of damage. Just a heads up, if Ezreal ever uses his E, you just Leona ult him, and then we win the game. This guy keeps using his E forward. That shit is not allowed against... <laughs> yeah. It's the same shit with Vayne. Like, Vayne or Ezreal, they jump forward, Vayne tumbles with Q, Ezreal E's forward, like, kill them. That's like your go button. Now, it's not always a good opportunity, like, if he has a whole team around him, but there's a lot of times where he's by himself, or we have some, like, long range, like, you Hecram ult that shit, he has to flash. You Leona ult that shit, he has to flash. Like, what are what are the other options, you know? Die. It's That's pretty much it. Oops. Because you have no escape. You know, the E is the escape. With the AP build, the E procs the W. So they use it, all, and it has an AP ratio that's a lot higher than your Q. So your E does a lot of damage, and your W does a lot of damage. You just hit W, and then you E forward to hit the W proc, and you hope to, like, one-shot somebody. But again, you have no E now, and you're going to die. Just got to be really careful. And this guy is not being very careful. He is good, though. He is good, but the major flaw I see is definitely how he uses that E. Oh, I got baited again, dude. Oh, man. I just, I can't deal with the Warwick. It's really the problem. Like, the Aatrox doesn't do shit. It's, it's the fear from Warwick, man. Oh, you just keep kiting. It's good. Yeah, I mean, the enemy's not really fighting together. Oh my god! Oh boy. Alright, well, he's got no flash. So next time when he E's forward, he's got absolutely nothing. Three knockups, suppression. None of that gets reduced by uh, tenacity. Before anybody's like, oh my god, Mike, if you don't like crowd control, just get tenacity. Tenacity does not reduce knockups, so all three of his Qs. Even his W is a knockup because it's pulling back to the center. Maybe a knock back. I'm not sure if those are, but the slow it would work on. Less slow duration. Actually, no, the slow's only there when you're tethered. Never mind, I take that back.
I need to not get caught out and killed by this Warwick. I keep thinking I can win the 1v2. It just takes a little too long to kill the Aatrox so they get crowd controlled and then they end up chaining it. No! That's the problem with crit, dude. Oh yeah, bringing down the squad. It's not a bad play. I just honestly think they might have that warded. Nope, they don't. Uh, they definitely do. Got to use our teammate a little bit here. I feel like I'm in vision at all times. I should get a sweeper. That would help so much. Right away. With Ezreal dead? Baron! Baron! Like this shit. How many times you gotta be pinged, bro? Who gives a fuck about that? Move your ass! We have six seconds before he comes up and starts annoying us. And you're still in mid lane! How? How? I don't get it. Bro, it's typed in chat, 45 pings, move. This is why you guys get stuck in low ELO, man. Move with the purpose. You gotta pay attention. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. It's That's literally like one of the biggest things I notice about any ELO difference. It's always the pace, the tempo, like, a good player will get a kill and then immediately turn it into something. A bad player like gets a kill and they're like, oh my god, I got a kill, nice. What do I spend this extra gold on? Oh, I should buy this item. Like, The kill opens up control of the map when your opponents aren't there. That's what that kill does. The kill opens up towers, the kill opens up Baron, the kill opens up these objectives that are going to allow you to win the game. Oh damn, you might... My ult me. It'd be kind of bad because he was a little far away from Aatrox. They need to be able to combo this stuff. So if he ults me and does all his like work stuff and then Aatrox comes in after and I have time to like, you know, dodge Aatrox. It's when I get CC'd by Warwick and I'm getting hit by Aatrox with damage and then he starts CCing me as well right after the Warwick. Plus Ignite. Because then I can't heal through nothing. Waiting 10 gold on this. I'd be a little careful. Especially when he's back in. Ooh, this could be good. This could be real good. Oh my god! Ah! Alright. <laughs> he's very tanky, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's got him. Aw, Ezra looked mad. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> KDA is a license to talk smack. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, I'm not really any better. Like, I like to have high kill games because I think they're more entertaining and it's more fun, right? So I definitely make a lot of stupid plays that I should not. Heals so much. Oh my god. Whew. I still have ult though. I'm in like an incredibly strong position. Ezreal's alive. I mean, there's no way Warwick has ult, right? Oh, did I say Ezreal left? I think it was Teemo, huh? Get him, boys! Let's go! Ooh. I don't know if I want to flash for them, too, actually. 
I could have flashed and killed both of them, for sure. 100%. I just don't know if I want to blow my flash for two kills that aren't going to really lead to anything. Like, it would basically just be two kills and then we walk back and do dragon, you know? That is another thing. Using your flash for, like, actually valuable things. Fine fight. Fine. Now we can look for flashes. Cool. To the top lane. No. To the mid lane. No. To the bot lane. Third time's a charm. I knew I'd get it. Hold up. No! I didn't try and yoink that. Like I said, make sure to use your flash for a high-valued moment, okay? Don't just waste it willy-nilly, okay? You need to make sure to use it for key moments in the game, like trying to steal your teammates kills, okay? Beautiful. Nice little crocodile game. I'll be honest, man, that felt weird. I wanted to do the WASD and then Pinky on Shift. That's how I play. WASD, Pinky on Shift, I'm on uh, Space Bar. But now... QWER. We'll take it, dude. We will take it. So, GG squad. Well done, well done. Well done. Play that stuff pretty damn well. The dragon fight was pretty solid for like 90% of it. It was just the very end of it. Messed up a bit. But still worked out fine. It all worked out in the end. GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on the live stream, follow the live stream. GG, well played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.